All right, students, I wanted to show you how to get into the secure test browser. So uh, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna open up your Chromebook. And let's see here. Hi. Uh, and then make sure you turn it on there. Once it turns on, you are not going to log in. You are just gonna let it turn on. And I'll show you exactly where that, oh, hello again. All right, so down here in the bottom, there is the apps button. So I'm gonna go click on the apps button. And in order to get to the testing browser, I'm going to click on the secure test browser, which is right here. So I'm not going to log in. I'm just going to go down to apps and secure test browser. So I'll click that. It's going to load our test browser. And then you'll have to wait for a moment. And then once you are in, it's going to say, please select your organization or state. So you're going to click and you are going to scroll down to California. So go click on California, and then choose your assessment program. California assessment system is perfect, and then hit OK. And it's gonna load a screen that looks like this. Now, if you are gonna take the practice test with your teacher, you're gonna click down here, and it's gonna take you to the practice and training test site. Uh, and then it looks a little bit different here. It says guest user, guest session. Uh, we are going to, when you take the real test though, you're gonna need to make sure that it looks like this. So you're gonna need your first name, you're gonna need your SSID number that you can get from a teacher, and you're gonna need to type in a session ID number that you would get uh, from your test administrator. So for those of you in remote learning, that's gonna be from Miss Sam, Miss Alfici, uh, or myself, we're gonna give you that number. So um, anyway, that's that's how you get to it, that's what you do. Uh, and then once you put in all that information, so for example, I might put in, put in my first name, maybe my session, or my SSID number, uh, looks something like this. And then my session ID number starts with CA dash and it's usually about four numbers. So let's say four numbers and then usually like two or three numbers here. So you got to put it in exactly as you see it. And once you do that, you hit sign in and it should let you in. So hopefully this helps uh, and we will see you soon.